Hi guys, what is up? So it is me, Karina here. So today I am very excited because I'm going to be doing some Valentine's Day makeup. So I'm really excited. I haven't made any makeup videos in a long time. So I am super hype and excited to be doing this video right now for you guys also i have some jazz music playing in the background um a little thing that you guys don't know about me i absolutely love doing like listening to jazz music while i like study while i basically do anything and i just figured it could be like nice touch to my videos but if you guys hate it just let me know if you like it also let me know i just hope you guys enjoy By the way i'm not a makeup guru i'm not like a so just bear with me first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be putting this firming rose hip beauty oil i literally got this for five dollars my skin gets very dry and so i'm just gonna put this on <laughs> nor my eyebrows i know that they're kind of like a little bit growing don't worry i will get these bad boys fixed soon Wash these babies out I just like brushing my eyebrow. Um, I'm using this eyeshadow primer. I've had this for a really long time. I literally just got it from Walmart. So, I'm just gonna put this on my eyes. By the way, like a lot of people have been asking me to make makeup tutorial videos because some people that are from my job like my customers they're like when are you gonna have a makeup video because like i do my makeup super cool for work and stuff so if any of you guys are watching just give a what what or like just comment down below i know that i have this one customer she was just like begging me to make a makeup tutorial video so i am giving it to you right now so i hope you like it i'm going to be using the nyx total control in the color soft beige and I'm going to be using the ELF Ultimate Blending Brush to do the magic. I'm just gonna blend this in. By the way, let me know if you guys like the quality of the video. I think I mentioned this in my last video. I got a new phone. This is the best, the, like I've never seen like iPhone video quality be this good. Like I thought when I had the 6S, it was good, but yeah. Just to like give you guys a little insight of what has been going on in my life, I have been so anxious lately. I don't know if it's just me or what is up, but I literally feel so anxious about anxious. I feel so anxious about everything. And I'm sorry if you hear some noises in the background. My mom has some company over, so they're being a little obnoxious. Just just a little bit obnoxious. Oh, we're queens and we gotta get this makeup done. Okay, after I do that, I'm gonna put some handy dandy tape. Oh girl. Cut crease when I do my eyeshadow. So let me just do that. Just give me one second. It looks so stupid, but it's gonna be fine at the end. At the end of the day, it will look marvelous and cool. Alright, now we're gonna start getting into the fun stuff. I don't think I really need to mess with my eyebrows. My eyebrows look good from a distance. They just don't, as you can see, I definitely need to get them waxed or fixed or whatever, but they're not that bad. So I'm just gonna leave my eyebrows alone. I'm gonna go into my Too Faced Sweet Peach palettes, and I'm going to be going in with the color Candy Peach, which is this one right over here. And I'm gonna be doing this for my crease. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And I'm gonna like just really blend this out. And keep in mind, I'm gonna add a lot of pink, bleh, a lot of pink to my crease just because this is a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. So I just feel like the more pink is the necessary. Ooh, that looks so cool already. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we're gonna just do a little bit more blending of the pink or the candy peach color 
on my crease as you guys can see i don't have a lot of eyelid space i feel like my eyebrows are just like boom and then there's like barely any space to work with so if you guys have that type of struggle like i do just let me know like i know from afar my eyes look really big but there's not much like space that i could work with or i feel like maybe i'm wrong but i don't know I just feel like if my eyebrows were just like a little bit higher up then I would have so much like eyelid space to work with but it's all right though gotta love my face as it is Gosh, like this is all from like the last type of makeup I did <laughs> color puree and what I'm gonna be doing with this color is I'm going to be adding it right along here so I'm gonna just go like right over here with puree. Kinda looks like that. If you guys can see, I'm just gonna keep adding it onto that. To like all go well together, I'm just gonna take my blending brush once more and I'm just gonna slowly buffer this in together. Conceal high definition concealer. So basically I get this from the drugstore You don't need to have a fancy concealer and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply it onto my eyelids So the color could be more defined So I'm gonna do that right now and I will see you guys once that is done. So it looks like this So that is the major tip that I don't know if you guys have seen or known But if you are like wanting to do really good makeup for you to get that very cut and clean type of makeup look that you see a lot of people do on Instagram and stuff like that that is what you do you just like put concealer and then you work with what you got so in my morphe i don't really know what the number is but in my morphe palette it's so amazing um i'm gonna take this color right here and i'm going to put that all over my eyelid and now taking my urban decay all nighter spray and i am going to just be spraying it on my brush so it could get that nice and wet effect Again, I'm very sorry if you guys hear some loud noises. My mom has company over and they're just being loud as fuck. So I'm very sorry. I have no control over that. Eyelid. Ooh, girl, she looking good. And then we're gonna add a little bit more so we have some on the inner part of my eyeball as well. So we should have something like that. This red color right over here. It's a, like a metallic -y red. And I'm just gonna put that in the inner part of my eye. I'm gonna do this color right here. And I know it's a very bright red, so I'm gonna just be very careful with applying it. Just do that, just add that right there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye as well. And we're just gonna keep blending it in till it matches the other side with the effect. And then I'm gonna take off this tape. Oh, as you can see, perfect cut. That's why I like the tape method. And I'm going to go back in and just Put some more concealer right under my eye. Just to make the look look a lot cleaner, if that makes any sense. Flat brush. I don't really know what the name of this brush is called. Pink right here called Just Peachy. So I'm gonna just do that. Add it right over here. So we have that and I'm gonna do the same thing to my other eye. Oh, 
All right, cool. So we have that look going on so far. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be going in with my Voluminous Superstar L'Oreal Paris Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to just be making a very distinct and awesome wing. So um, I'm going to be doing that really quick. that make sure both sides are just as long as the other both look good what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. One wing done. <laughs> Alright guys, and I'm going to do the other one and I will be right back. Alright guys, after I did my wing on both sides of my eyes, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just apply mascara. I added mascara to my eyelids next thing we are going to move to is contouring I'll be taking my contouring palette keep in mind I definitely need a new contouring palette because this is falling apart but I'm going to be using the shade I'm gonna lay safe I'm gonna like use I'm gonna use this shade here angle the brush for contour so I'm gonna be dipping in here I'm gonna be just applying contour some under my neck or like where my chin is kind of so it looks like I'm more skinnier than I really am <laughs> going to add is we are going to add some highlights so i'm going to be taking my anastasia beverly hills glow sweet kit and i'm going to be using the color hmm, what color am i feeling of using today hmm, what color honestly i never use taffy because i feel like i'm way too light for that but i i'm going with more of like marshmallow or sassy grape I'm gonna just do marshmallow just to stay safe. You know what I mean? We're gonna do sassy grape because we're all for it. So we're gonna dip into some sassy grape and we're gonna put it right over here. For my face, I'm putting some on my nose as well. The other side as well. Purple Baked Blusher in Peachy Keen Heart. So it looks like that. So I'm going to just be adding that on my face. So I have some color. Ignore that. I just have some zits. You know, nothing unusual. My lips today, I'm actually going to be lining it with this e.l.f. in the color Praline looks like that i'm gonna be lining my lips with that and then i'm going to be using the color kim in the kkw collection
finish the look with some setting spray. So this is the completed look and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, this is my Valentine's Day look. If you guys liked this video, please make sure to leave a big old thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for some more videos. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. Thank you.